Well, you find me today moored up at the village of Elston. Elston's just up to the right hand side of the boat across that bridge up there. I found some more wood yesterday, so I've been busy preparing for winter, as you can see here, all these cold evenings which are coming in at the moment. What you see here is some sycamore I found yesterday. I've cut half of it up, I've got the other half to do. So now let's go for a little walk. I'm not going to go right up into the main part of the village. I walked up there yesterday. There's a Tesco's Express up there, Chinese takeaway, and a lot of garages, and not really the most interesting of places to go to. Although I don't want to upset anybody from Elson, of course, but I'm not going to go back up there today for a walk. It's quite a walk up the hill, and to be honest with you, there's not a lot to bring to you there. I'm going to do a little bit around here by the canal, which I think there's an awful lot more interesting things to see. Well, the bridge you can see over my shoulder here is called Pack Horse Bridge. That actually is not the real Pack Horse Bridge. Let's go and find out where it is. One thing I am spotting whilst I'm out for this walk today is the hawthorn and how loaded the berries are. If you go by the old farmers, this is always a sign, lots of berries. We're looking at a harsh winter. With everything that's going on in the world, with energy, I hope that's not correct. Not for my sake, because I will keep warm by burning wood and I can generate my own light or electric. I'm just hoping it's not going to affect too many people like my parents. Well, here is that uh, bridge we just saw, which is called Pack Horse Bridge. This is a later addition to go across the canal. Where we're on now is actually a canal section, not actually on the river soil proper. The Pack Horse Bridge itself goes over the river soil. So here we have that Pack Horse Bridge. Of course it has a new surface on the bottom of it, it will never have had an asphalt bottom and it has refuges as we cross, this being one, and we can look across here at the Saw Valley where we can see the ponies and horses in the field. Let's continue our walk across the Pack Horse Bridge. I love the way these bridges were built. I think there's a lot of restoration to this one, but even so, we still get the gist of it. And here's our view back across most of it. Well, now we're actually at the River Saw. It's not quite as mighty up here as it is further down. Now, reading some old history about the river, it looks like when the Pack Horse Bridge was built, the actual main flow of the river was up there, up underneath the Pack Horse Bridge. But over the millennia, it has altered course as it meanders across the plains here and it may have had a little help in recent years in its current course keeping it away from the canal a little bit so it didn't create any erosion towards the canal banks that is a little bit of speculative there there are things written up about it indicating that might have happened I couldn't find actually anything to prove that happened Well, I'm continuing my walk now across the meadows. I apologise for the wobbly camera work. I've swapped over the LSR camera. This is a built-up causeway all the way across the meadows here. And reading up on it, it has been here and a pathway for quite a few centuries. It's definitely 
five or six hundred years old. I must admit, I do love these little walks out into the countryside. Sorry, the camera's a bit shaking here, a bit bumpy across the pathway here. Well, it appears to have lots of pathways leading off here. Across into the fields there. All these blackberry bushes. I'm a bit late for the blackberries though. So this is like a crossroads almost in the pathways here. Because of course these were our original roads really of the UK. These pack horse lanes and driveways. The driveway of course not being the driveway to your house but where sheep and cattle were driven to market. Could walk for miles around here, I think, and probably never walk over the same spot twice. I don't have the time to spend out all morning. I've got things to do on the boat, like edit this video when I get back. And a lot of it is very similar to look at, so I don't want to bore you too much. I'm being very careful walking along these pathways. It's uh, Stinging Nestle Alley, and I've got shorts on. You can see in the distance there, the old rail bridge. We came under that on the boats coming up. I believe now it's actually a walkway. It's a public right away. Uh, not quite sure what it's called. I did actually look it up and I've forgotten. I'll try, if I remember, I'll put it in the caption below. Well, I'm back on the Pack Horse Bridge now and it's time to walk back towards the canal. I'm pretty sure it's not original. It's put together with concrete. Still, it looks quite good, doesn't it? Going by an old map I looked at, this I think was the original course of the river which came down through these arches. And we'll come up across this field here somewhere. The hedgerow you can see there is the canal just the other side. And that is why it seems that there was a fear that in flood times it was eroding into the canal bank. True or not, I'm not sure. Because there was no actual written evidence of it. There just seems to be some surmising by other people. But I'll take their word for it. It makes sense. Nowadays we just have a little water left down here, which the ducks obviously enjoy. But if I can get the cameras and focus through the leaves here, we also have a swan enjoying the water on the opposite side of the bridge. So there's still some water here even though it's not the main part of the river anymore. So that was my little walk across the Pack Horse Bridge. I want to go for a little walk the other way now. Um, I don't know where it goes to. But there's a, a suspended causeway which goes up the other side of the canal. Um, not quite sure where it goes to. When I walked up to the village yesterday, I walked up through the roadway. So let's see where this goes to. It may be interesting. I don't know. So we're going to go back up over the canal, up over what is called Pack Horse Bridge. This is the correct sort of width for a Pack Horse Bridge, so it's in keeping with the Pack Horse Bridge. Well, it would have been added when horses were probably still mainly used in this area. But then the other side would go. When I walked up to the village yesterday, I went through that old railway arch there. There's the old railway bridge, and there's the footpath up to the old railway line. There's where we can walk around here, where obviously we can go for a walk. But we're going to go up here. Very new, isn't it? Moors and trees and places like this are built 
just to find out where they go to. Nosy really, aren't I? Well, through the bushes there, I can just about to see the red of my boat. But we're going to carry on this way. Oh, it looks like it's just an access ramp, actually, to get up onto the old railway line. And here we are. Oh, yes. No, very much a cycle path, I would guess. Nice and flat, aren't they? Ideal for cyclists and walkers alike. Well, I'm not going to go far along here. Once again, this all looks very, very similar. And I have no reasons to walk at all. So we'll come back down the steps. Well, as I find my way back down the steps, try not to fall over and record at the same time. I hope you enjoyed this little off the cut video. I never included any town part of it or the village part of it. I thought it sounded a little bit different and these are definitely interesting places to me anyway to have a little look around see how things are being reused and how things were i know five or six hundred years ago i believe that pack horse bridge is probably five or six hundred years old most of them are that you see around the country the last one i took you to was essex bridge up near schomburg house well, that's going to bring me to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed that little walk around I certainly enjoyed making it, and I'm trying not to trip over the steps as I walk down them. Of course, a big thank you goes out to my Patreon, PayPal, and Super Thanks supporters. Your help really makes these videos possible. I'm looking down, making sure I don't miss the next step. I'm down the bottom now, so I'm walking back towards the boat. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe and hit that old bell notification button. That way YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. Just in case the algorithm forgets to tell you. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends and like. Hit that old like button. That really helps the YouTube algorithm show my videos to more people. I'm just going back up over Packhorse Bridge and that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching Trevor out